All right, this is Wylock's second grade worksheet, lesson number 10. The first page asks to use logical reasoning and to circle the statements that equal the number on the top. Cross out the wrong statements and correct them. All right, so number one, we see it has to equal 10. Let's see, five plus five, yep. That equals 10. So we circle that and we just leave it as is. 7 plus 3, that also equals 10. So we circle and leave. 0 plus 9 doesn't equal 10 though. So we cross it out and then we make it into something that doesn't equal 10. So we can change it in two ways. So you can do 0 plus 10 or one plus nine. Whichever way you feel more comfortable with because both work just fine. And then four plus seven, that equals 11. So we have to cross that out and make it four plus six or three plus seven. And then 2 plus 8 does equal 10, so we circle it. All right, let's go to 4. And that's equal 16. So 12 plus 4 equals 16. We circle it. 5 plus 7, that doesn't equal 16. That equals 12. So we have to change it to make it equal to 16. So we can do... Hmm, we can do 5 plus 11 or 9 plus 7. All right. And then 5 plus 9, that also doesn't work. So you have to cross it out and make it 5 plus 11 or Seven plus nine. Fourteen plus three, that equals seventeen. So this is also a no. And so that's fourteen plus two or a uh, thirteen plus three. And then thirteen plus two, that equals fifteen, which isn't sixteen, so we have to cross that out and then make it 13 plus three, four. We have to make it 14 plus two. All right, let's move to the next one. Addition or subtraction, right? Plus or minus to make the statements true. All right, so if we look at the first one, we see 12, seven, and five. So since we see 12 and seven, and the fact that the answer is smaller than both numbers, or I should say the answer is smaller than the first number, so we, might, we know that it must be minus. All right, okay. We see four plus eight. The answer is greater than both of these numbers, so it must be plus, and then, okay, 6, we see 6 and 6 and 0, so we must, the numbers must cancel each other out in some way, and we know we can do that with subtraction, so that's a minus, and then number 8, 9, blank 4 equals 13. 13 is greater than both 9 and 4, so that has to be addition. All right, let's go to the next page. Mark, mark the correct answer. What is a way to show 11? All right, that's interesting. So 10 minus 1, that actually equals 9. So that's not the answer. And then we see... 4 plus 1 plus 3, let's 
Let's just do it in small steps. 4 plus 1, that's 5. And then plus 3, that's 8. So that's not 11. Alright. 8 plus 3 plus 1, that's 11. Okay, we're almost there. Plus 1. Hmm. Backtracking. We have 12, that's not the answer either. We have 7 plus 6 minus 2, so that's 13 minus 2, and that's 11. So the answer is this. Alright, let's do number 3. What is a way to show 14? 14 minus 3 plus 2, we can do 14 minus 3, that's 11, and then plus 2, which equals 13, which is close, but that's not the answer we're looking for. We see 3 plus 8 plus 1, so let's do this, 11 plus 1 equals 12, so that's not the answer either. And then we have 6 minus 6 plus 13, the 6 and the 6 cancel each other out, so that's a 0 plus 13, which equals 13, which means we're close, but no, it's not the answer either. And then we see 14 plus 4 minus 4. Now, I usually start from the beginning of the equation, but since I see 4 minus 4, and I know those cancel out, I can just do 14 plus 0, which equals 14, which is the answer we're looking for. So the answer would be the last one. All right, let's go to word problems. And then, let's see, Addison and Albert have 16 marbles in all. Addison has seven marbles. How many marbles does Albert have? So we're looking for how many marbles Albert has. So that must be subtraction since they have 16 total. And we know how many Addison has. So that's 16 minus 7, which equals 9. So Albert has 9 marbles. Right. And then let's just see. Number 2. Albert gave some marbles to Addison. Addison now has 12 marbles. How many marbles did Albert give Addison? So we can do subtraction for this. So Addison now has 12. And we knew she had 7 before. So minus 7, which equals 5. So Albert gave Addison 5 marbles. And this is where we're going to end. So thank you.